Cassie Ho, and today I invited Meg DeAngelis over to the kitchen. It's on. I'm Meg DeAngelis, and I have a YouTube channel called May Baby, and I like to do lifestyle content. Today, chefs Cassie and Meg will have only five measly minutes to battle out their best dishes using the ingredients in these mysterious baskets. Black olives, a pear, green seedless grapes, and a toothpick bundle. So I'm kind of like examining my basket and then this envelope just like falls right in front of my face. We unfold this letter and Dining Deity has written a poem for us, some type of a riddle. Dear competitors, welcome to the Chopped Up Kitchen. With the tools I have provided, you will make this hog I have decided. Recreate this prickly beast to offer up in a fruity feast. Five minutes is all the time in the world. I could probably make it in two minutes. First, I see these toothpicks, then I see a pear and some grapes, and I also see olives. It's a little bit of a weird combination, but it's gonna make the perfect porcupine, hedgehog. Meg was such a mess in the kitchen. I mean, all she had to do was open her toothpick bundle up and it exploded, and it was totally in her hair. I didn't really expect the little explosion to happen. I sorted myself out and I kept going. I don't think it's affecting me at all. I am peeling the face of the hedgehog. I needed to peel the face away so that I could have like a spot to put the eyes. Time to build the grape crown. So I have this double grape technique, right? So basically it's gonna make it look puffier and then there's gonna be little spikes that poke out. So it's gonna make the spikes look more prominent. I think mine way more represents and gives justice to the photo that Dining Deity wanted. I'm just working on my piece of art and I feel this grape hit my face. I got a little competitive at that point, I guess you could say. I thought she was sane, but honestly, that girl has issues. Meg comes over with a toothpick and blinds my hedgehog. Animal cruelty, hello PETA. I don't know how a blind porcupine is really gonna win. There definitely weren't any toothpicks in the diagram. Well, that was stressful, let me tell you. Who's gonna win? Well, obviously mine looks like the picture and hers is so fluffy. I mean, double grape technique, what is that? I hope the dining deity appreciates the sunglasses and I hope he knows their sunglasses because I feel like it adds a really nice touch. Chef Meg, Chef Cassie, who will satiate my prestigious palate today? Chef Meg, cute, cute, unique double grape technique. And, oh, oh, definitely not the best constructed hedgehog in the world, but the sunglasses are an adorable touch. Chef Cassie, on first glance, very well put together with an eye for symmetry, but these toothpicks could really hurt someone. Ow, ow, this is more of a weapon than a dish. And what is this? Blinded eyes? How brilliant i know exactly what you were going for true sight is not in the eyeballs per se but within what a beautifully portrayed message so who will it be drum roll please <laughs> like porcupine or hedgehog things. It was fun. Um, now that I'm looking at mine, it's a little lopsided. You know what, I think it's artistic. It's like very absolute, you know like Picasso style? Yeah. Yeah. I mean the sunglasses. I wouldn't have expected that the dining deity would have liked the poked eyes. You know, that so, was my doing. You know. Guys, if you want to check out Meg's channel, click right here. Yeah, so we did some cool like healthy snacks and meal ideas for the new year on my channel. So click the Demented Porcupine. Yeah, and Meg is literally so cute. So you got to watch her and subscribe. All right, bye guys. Bye.